Every generation will not be confused. There is a generation that will get this thing. Say the compressed of a from that day. The creative dimension of the prophetic. There must be a performance because. When you see this sign, recognize that the harvest is near. Hallelujah. Now listen to me. I'm going to give you I'm going to give you four prophetic instructions to wrap up this message. These prophetic instructions came to me by revelation while I prepared this message. Listen to me. If you follow the order of Issachar, you will never be disadvantaged. Take it from me. You belong to an apostolic and a prophetic ministry. You see, the advantage of the apostolic and the prophetic is that it's able to bring perspective and meaning to the word of God so the word of God does not just come to you just plainly and blindly without a point of application by the agency of the spirit you are able to walk with scripture and then bring a prophetic dimension to the speakings of God over your life pay attention these four prophetic instructions are not just for me but it's for the body of Christ this is my contribution as revealed by God these are the prophetic strategies for the times that we live in. This is true for our nation. This is true for businesses. This is true for individuals. And please, I want you to pay attention. I do not claim to know everything. We are all students learning from God, learning from the fathers. But I can tell you there are things that we have been given as an election of grace. And in as much as we honor the body, we stand confident upon the office that he has given us. So some of the things you are hearing are not cunningly devised fables. No. Is someone ready? Four prophetic instructions for this tribe of Issachar to thrive, especially in the seasons that are unfolding. The first instruction is in James chapter 1 and verse 19. Let me tie it up quickly and then we'll pray. It says, Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, and slow to wrath. This is the first prophetic instruction. This came by the Spirit to me. For you, my dear people, and then by extension for the body of Christ. First instruction. Let every man, let how many men? Be quick to hear, slow to speak and slow to anger believe me men and women are going to lose their bishopric because of compromising on this instruction there are many people who if they do not manage themselves in business in ministry and so on and so forth this is a time that requires high level discernment be quick to hear but be slow to speak and be slow to anger because there are many things you will call God that is not God. And there are many things that you will call evil. And you will not know that it is light coming out of darkness. Listen very carefully. Instruction number one. Let every man be swift to hear. Slow to speak. Slow to wrath. There are many good things God is doing in your life. That will stimulate anger in your life. You will need self-control to allow what is doing to come to fruition. Because at the end of it, you will find out that even your being thrown into the lion's den is for your exaltation. So you need a lot of self-control. This getting angry and boiling over nothing, many people will abort prophetic seasons because of the absence of self-control. There are many of us that need to trust God. Once you can just calm down, 
you will see the hand of God rearranging things and then you will find out like my precious people sang that what the enemy meant what was that thing you said again what the enemy meant for evil I think you should sing that that part for me again you take what the enemy meant for evil very powerful and you turn it for good you turn it for good sing it one more time very prophetic part you take what the enemy meant for evil and you turn it for good you turn it for good but here's my question do you have the patience to allow god finish his work or are you angry that you want to interrupt God? God, you are too slow. Let me show you how it is to be fast. No. You hear that they're about to sack you and you say, God, they're about to sack me. And he says, stand still. Stand still with five children and 11 relatives. God, you must be wicked. You are seated in heaven, dear streets of gold. And God says, all right, if you think I'm too slow, go ahead. And you go ahead and you find out it was a rumor your fear and anger now makes that rumor a self-fulfilling prophecy they said we were looking for one person to drive it was a rumor that it was you but now that you have demo you came by yourself as a sign that you are ready to leave the job hear me prophetic instruction number one dear isaka generation be slow be quick to listen be slow to speak there is something called due season there are many of you you preserve your honor by speaking only when necessary most of us you have cheapened the value of your destiny your words no longer carry life and power because you have wasted it upon the ears of those who do not deserve to hear you speak you must understand the value and the power of your words let your words carry power and weight that if your words actually come out they come out when needed are we together be quick to listen satan will try to challenge you provoke you to speak it takes a lot of self-control and discernment the bible says a word spoken in due season say due season prophetic instruction number one i repeat again be quick to listen nigeria africa body of christ this is a prophetic word for the lord from the lord james 1 19 is my first prophetic word be swift to hear slow to speak slow to wrath let's finish it verse 20 why does the bible say slow to wrath he said, for the wrath of man walketh not the righteousness of God. When you allow uncontrolled anger to lead you, it will most likely lead you out of the will of God. Are we together now? Prophetic instruction number two. Is someone listening now? Obtain light through the ministry of the word. Obtain light through the ministry of the word obtain light from the ministry of the word refuse to walk in darkness this is what god told me romans 15 and verse 4 let's hurry up please romans 15 and verse 4 the bible says for whatsoever things were written aforetime Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media. Every generation will not be confused. There is a generation that will get this thing. Say the compressed of a from that day. The creative dimension of the prophetic. There must be a performance because 